Today's topic is filter pace. Let us start with the definition of a filter pace. Let X be a non-empty set. A filter pace on X is a non-empty family B of subsets of X satisfying the following two conditions. First condition is phi doesn't belong to B. That is no member of B is empty. The second condition is if F belongs to B and H belongs to B, then there exists G belongs to B such that G is contained in F intersection H. That is, intersection of any two members of B contains a member of B. And this can be extended to any uh, finite number of members of B. That is, intersection of any finite number of members of B contains a member of B. And since no member of B is empty, so we can say that intersection of any finite number of members of B is non-empty. Hence, we have a remark that B has the finite intersection property. Now, we have some examples. The first example is, every filter F is a filter base. Why? Because we know that no member of uh, a filter is empty. So, empty set doesn't belong to F. And for F in F, for H in F, there exists F intersection H. We know that intersection of any two members of a filter is also in that filter. And so there exists F intersection H in F such that F intersection H is contained in F intersection H. So second condition for a filter base is also satisfied and we can say that F is a filter base. Now we have second example. If X is a non-empty set and A be a non-empty subset of X, then the collection B consists of only one member that is set A is a filter base on X. Here we note that phi doesn't belong to B because A is a non-empty set and for A in B and for A in B there exists A in B such that A is contained in A intersection A. And so we can say that second condition is also trivially satisfied and so we can say that this is a filter base here. B is a filter base. Now we have third example. Let XT be a topological space and let X be a member of set X. Then the local base P of X at X is a filter base on X. Let me recall you a local base P of X at X is a collection of neighborhoods of X such that for each neighborhood N of X, there exists a member B of B of X contained in N. Note that since each member of B of X is a neighborhood of X, so X belongs to each member of B of X. Or we can say that X belongs to B for each B in B of X. And so no member of B of X is empty. Also, we know that for A belongs to B of X and B belongs to B of X, there exists a member C of B of X such that C is contained in A intersection B. We have proved this result earlier. So, we have shown that local base B of X at X is a filter base on X. Now, we have a very important theorem which connects a filter with filter base. Let B be a family of subsets of a non-empty set X. Then B is a filter base on X if and only if the family F consisting of all those subsets of X which contain a member of B is a filter on X. Let me repeat it. B is a filter base on X if and only if the collection F containing all supersets of members of B is a filter on X. Let us prove this theorem. 
we observe that B is non-empty if and only if F is non-empty. Here, if suppose if B is empty, then um, there does not exist any superset of members of B and so F is also empty. And we can say that if F is uh, empty, um, then uh, it is only the case when B is empty. And so we can say that B is non-empty if and only if F is non-empty. Uh, let F be a filter on X. Here F contains all supersets of members of B and we are assuming that F is a filter on X. Then F, uh, then uh, no member of F is empty. Now we have to show that B is a filter based on X. As F consists of supersets of all members of B and each member of B is a superset of itself so each member of B is contained in F and we can say that the collection B is contained in F. And since F is a filter, so phi doesn't belong to F and so phi doesn't belong to B. Now we have to check the second condition that F belongs to B and H belongs to B. Since the collection B is contained in F, so F belongs to F and H belongs to F. But since F is a filter, so F intersection H belongs to F. By definition of F, there exists some member G of B such that G is contained in F intersection H. Why? Because F intersection H belongs to F and any member of F is a superset of a member of B, so there must exist some member G of B such that G is contained in F intersection H. So, for F belongs to B and H belongs to B, we have shown that there exists G in B such that G is contained in F intersection H. So, second condition is also satisfied. Hence, we can say that B is a filter based on X. Conversely, let B be a filter based on X and F be the family of all subsets of X which contain a member of B. That is, F is the collection of supersets of all members of B. And we have to show that F is a filter on X. As phi doesn't belong to B, so phi doesn't belong to F. Since B is a filter base, so phi doesn't belong to B. And F contains supersets of members of B, so phi doesn't belong to F also. Now, we have to check the second condition. Let F belongs to F and F is contained in H. We have to show that H also um, a member of uh, F. By definition of F, there exists some member G of B such that G is contained in F. Why? Because F belongs to F, so that F, the set F is a superset of uh, some member of B and so there exists some member G in B such that G is contained in F. Since G is contained in F and F is contained in H, so G is contained in H. That means we have shown that there exists a member G in B such that G is contained in H. Or we can say that H is a superset of some member of B, which implies that H belongs to F. Now we have to check the third property. Let F belongs to F and H belongs to F. We want to show that F intersection H belongs to F. By definition of F, we know that if F belongs to F, so F must be superset of some member of B. So there exists some member G of B such that G is contained in F. And similarly, if H belongs to F, then there exists some member K of B such that 
K is contained in H. And so, G intersection K is contained in F intersection H. As B is a filter base, for G in B and for K in B, there exists some member L in B such that L is contained in G intersection K. And so, L is contained in F intersection H. So, we have shown that F intersection H is a superset of some member of B. So, by definition of F, F intersection H belongs to F. Hence, F is a filter on X. Thank you.